In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build four mini LEGO World War II vehicles. I have multiple other videos in the series and the playlist with those will be down in the description. Let's do this. So the vehicles are a Willys Jeep, a BF-109, a World War II tank, and the USS Missouri. All the tutorials in this video will also be available as instructions on my website, which will be linked up here in the corner and down in the description. There'll be a special way to get the instructions for this one, so make sure to stick around till the end. So we're starting off with the Willys Jeep. So this one's the smallest of the bunch, but it's got some cool techniques putting this thing together. So as you can see, there's a windshield, all this stuff. The bottom has our wheel technique that we use for most of the Mini Lego vehicles, which is pretty cool. So let's build this thing. So these are all the parts you'll need for the Willys Jeep. They're all pretty common parts to find, except this windshield might be a little bit harder, but pause the video right now get the parts and follow along. So to start off, get these two pieces and put this two by three plate over the two, just like that, and put a tile in that one spot just missing there. Then on these two studs right here, put another one by two tile and behind that place the windshield facing backwards that way. Then on those two studs, just put this sideways piece on there. Then put a one by two with the jumper plate. And now basically everything's done. I'm guessing you know where to go. <laughs> put all the tires on. So the studs, uh, the top of the studs is go in there. So it goes, uh, the top of the studs go in these holes. So it's like upside down of what you're probably used to. So just do that for every hole. And then the back one doesn't have one of those, it just goes on normally. Boom, and there you go, Willie's Jeep. Really simple to make, it looks pretty good. So the next one's a BF-109, and I've been wanting to do this one for a while, because in the third part of this series, I had a P-51 Mustang that was the same color scheme as a BF-109, and everybody said it looked like a BF-109. So, proving you guys wrong, this is what BF-109 looks like. It's got like that sunken in cockpit and everything. It's, it's different, guys, so. This is what it looks like, this is the actual BF-109. Uh, the other one was a P-51 Mustang. <laughs> This is a struggle, guys. Boom, there we go. Okay, that was a struggle, but see, the propeller can be blown, and yeah, it's got a color scheme and everything. Looks pretty cool, so let's build this thing. So these are all the parts you need for the BF-109. These two studs right here are hollow. It's a little hard to sell on camera, but make sure you get hollow ones. Uh, and these pieces right here are a little newer, so it might be a little harder to find, but this is what they look like. They're like down facing, and they're only one thick. Uh, but yeah, pause the video right now, get these pieces and build along. So start off, get this piece and put a dark bluish gray one by two on the side and a light bluish gray one by two on the other side. And then on top of that, on this side without the dark bluish gray one, put this piece, which hangs over slightly, as you can see, and the light bluish gray one on this side. So it's kind of forming a checker pattern, as you can see. Then on these two sides over here, put yellow one by one tiles right there. And then in the middle, get the other one by two and it faces down that way. So we got the wings done. <laughs> then get these pieces and put them on both sides of that one by two we just placed down. Then on this back one, you're gonna wanna put this cone piece and on the, on the top of this, put this little window piece. Then put this piece inside of that cone, but make sure to leave a little bit of a gap open on it. So like that, don't push it in all the way. Leave that little spot there. Then in that little gap, put this piece right there, should clip on. And now just put this down and get this bar piece right here, one by three bar, and put a light bluish gray stud on the end, just like that, pretty easy. And then slide this cone onto there and then put this propeller on there. It should freely spin uh, as I showed you earlier. Uh, and then just put this hollow stud over this. Make sure this hollow stud isn't too tight on this so it can freely spin. So mine is a little rough right now. I'd like it a little looser. So just pull it out a little bit. Voila, you see there's a bit of a gap there but it makes it so it can freely spin. But I mean, if you don't want it to spin, you can always just push it in. It's way harder for it to spin. And then that will just push onto there. And then you can push the bar the rest of the way because these pieces are hollow. So just push, push that the rest of the way and it should work. So there you go. There's your BF-109. So next one's a World War II tank. I've actually made a modern tank in one of the videos too, but this one's an older World War II tank. So this one has all the features of a tank basically. The top rotates, this gun rotates and everything. And the treads are made with these pieces which are like rounded and make a really good shred type piece. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So let's build it. Okay, so these are all the parts you'll need for the tank. These one by fives right here might be a little bit harder to find. And this piece right here, which is like a bar with a, a stopper in the middible it's, it's a newer piece, so it might be a little bit harder to find, but yeah. So you can pause the video and get the pieces and then follow along. So first get this four by four plate and put this piece right next to it. And then on the bottom of those, put this piece right there, like that, holding those together. And another one on the other side like that. And then you basically want to mirror the, the same thing on the other side. So it should look like that. Everything should be held together now. 
Uh, and then on every one of these, put a one by two, uh, put a one by two plate right there on all these. And then on top of that, you're gonna wanna put these two one by five plates on both sides. So you've got the treads down. Oh my gosh, I just launched it for a second. Ah, there we go. That's what it should look like right here. Then put a two by three plate right there like that. Make sure you leave these two spots open. Then on the back with these studs, put two vents and then right here and right here. Two one by two plates with a tile slapped on right there. Boom, like that. Then up front, two, um, two slopes, two one by one slopes right there. And then on top of these two one by twos right here, put a tile like that. And then set this off to the side, get this piece and put that on top of there with a one by two right there. And then put a tile right there. Put this weird looking piece. I have no idea what, what this is called. <laughs> that just clips in the middle of there. And then this piece will just slide right there. So there's the top. And then this piece right here will just be put right. It's pretty obvious where it goes. <laughs> it just goes right there. And then this piece, Make sure that hole is where it attaches because if you attach it in a corner, it's going to be way off and lopsided like that's so wrong. So make sure that circle hole lines up there. So like that and then boom, you can twist and there is your tank. So to get the instructions for how to build the battleship, they're available for purchase on my website. If you'd like to build one of these from your pieces, uh, you can buy the instructions up here and I'll have the link down in the description as well. The, the build looks really cool and everything. So yeah, this is the battleship. Make sure to do that if you want to build it. Purchasing instructions helps make videos like these. So thank you to everybody who has. That's it for the video. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notifications bell.